Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. Let's be honest. That win streak one is bullshit, by the way. You should be able to cancel a run. I bet if you cancel it before you walk into a room, you probably get to do it, and that's fine. But God, it's bullshit. I think the seed should count. Anyway, we're on Curse of the Labyrinth. We get to save a key, ride a cowboy as a result of that. I don't love being Maggie, but that's okay. S2, that's, I'm never gonna know what that is. S2, A, D. Just talking to myself, admonishing myself for my terrible penmanship. Zero G three, with a little bit of a one on the end. So, because it's Curse of the Labyrinth, there's uh, an important thing to note here, which is that oftentimes, as Maggie, if you find that curse room right away, well, on the first floor, the very logical thing to do: pop in, you know, pay your one hard tax, see what's inside of there. Oftentimes, it could be an actual item. Ooh, careful, and then you uh, just use your yum heart, and nobody's the wiser. I really, really do not like the pills, but I took it anyway, and I regret it. Um, I assume that counts as red hard damage, but just to be on the safe side, I'm not going to go to our curse room yet, just in case it isn't red hard damage. Um, that's a, a really disappointing drop for us that might have actually cost us a deal with the devil on the first floor. A wise rune. I think we're going to use it, just to see if we get a black market. That is not a black market. Uh, I'm starting to think, I'm a little getting a little suspicious of the people who said, use it, it can give you a black market, because I, I think I've used the Awaz rune four times now, never gotten a black market. Now that is just, it's anecdotal evidence, you know, it's it's not scientific, but I'm starting to, I've never seen it myself, that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is I've never seen gravity in action, I don't believe that it really exists. I believe that there's a, an invisible rope that tethers us all to the center of, you know, gravitational bodies. Anyway. We did take real red hard damage, so if we wanted to, we could go straight into our uh, curse room. I don't think there's any reason really not to at this point. HP is good. We have a yum hard charge. Mysterious candy is, eh, yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. People overvalue the poop. How terrible would it have been if I just skipped like both of our uh, boss rooms and possibly the deal with the devil as well? Plus the curse room, plus all these other potentially consumable gaining rooms out here. That would have been funny. Why don't we clear out the entire floor? I assume that there's almost nothing left to clear out. Ooh, if only we'd gone this way right off the start, we might have been able to get a. S yeah, we could have just walked straight down, gotten a spirit heart, and maybe protected ourselves, but we didn't. Now, there will be some people, if you're playing the seat at home, that will choose to go with those pills instead of going with the, uh, the Yum Heart. I, I respect your choice, and I think that actually it might be the right choice, because the, the odds of getting something like the PhD are not terrible. You get the PhD, you know, you, some batteries, every battery gives you the opportunity to get basically just like a free attribute upgrade or something along those lines. It's pretty good. I can't deny it. But I will say, I, I you know... I don't think the Yum Heart's better, but it's more consistent, you know? It's like, I would I rather own a, all other things equal, or would I rather own a BMW? Or would I rather own a Honda Civic? I'd rather own a Honda Civic, man, because I, I want to have a car that's a little bit more reliable, maybe, and uh, where repairs or floor mats won't cost me, you know, 10% of my annual salary. That's my philosophy on it. You may or may not disagree, and... Uh, Keep in mind, the car thing was just an analogy. I know almost nothing about the world's preferred form of transport, so I'm not trying to fire shots at the uh, the BMW Corporation or anybody who may choose to consider themselves acolytes of it. Anyway, that's the most controversial thing I'll say over the course of this episode. That and come, uh, if please, nobody in the comments try to tell me gravity is just a theory. If we can get through this video with with that, then it's all good, man. I deliberately chose, like, the least controversial of all the quote-unquote theories. Now that I've mentioned it, of course, it's gonna start some bullshit argument, but come on, man. Gravity. I used to think, people are always like, well, there's people out there that think the Earth is still flat. As far as I understand, the Flat Earth Society is like a satirical quote-unquote organization. I don't believe that the, it's, uh... I don't believe that it's a collection of people who really believe the Earth is actually flat. I, th I thought it was satirical. I might be mistaken. Anyway. We lost we lost a lot against uh, the haunt there, but we didn't lose our freedom, nor did we lose our last red heart, which is actually pretty important. Or last black heart, I mean to say. nor uh, Because it's pretty important because that could actually give us a 
one third chance of, and and that's that's scientific. At least if the van the uh, vanilla values carry over. Hey now, vanilla values, turn that shiz up. Swear words, man. Swear words always get me because, you know, you can say shiz or fudge, but we all know what that means, right? Like you can say that on the radio or on on TV. And it could still be like PG-13, maybe, maybe G if you got lucky with it. Well, that's not very good for us there. I guess we're just gonna leave. But we all know what they're saying. If you say, I'm gonna go take a shiz on your head, is that any less offensive than I'm gonna go take a shit on your head? Maybe for some people, I'm, I'm interested in, in dissenting opinions here, for, for me. It's, it's the same thing, man. Real offensive speech goes goes deeper than that. You know, it's got to be targeted, not just a word. I don't know, man. Bad trip we got again. Uh, which I actually don't hate. Appreciate. If we get the, uh, we get a blood bank. Anywhere. It doesn't have to be on an arcade. Then this uh, bad trip pill is great for us. I really don't like Mysterious Candy. Oh my god. Okay, I was really hoping we'd be able to keep this black heart alive. Look, let's be honest. This is one of those runs that is shaping up right now, and you're saying, I don't know about this one, Northern Lion. Pretty rough first floor without a great item. Cost you a deal with the Devil Chance. Now, I don't know. I see it slipping away. I don't yet. Our HP is good. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit on edge about, um, you know, what could happen on this run. Do you, oh, there we go. That's pretty much all we need to make me much more confident. You know the guitarist of U2 is named, you know, the, well, he's not named this, but he's nicknamed The Edge. You think, like, his wife is ever, like, you know, someone is like, hey, you look happy today. And she was like, well, I was stressed out. I was a little on edge this morning, and then I was okay. <laughs> we boned. We frigged. So you can say it on PG-13 related television. Mommy, what does frig mean? It means fuck, honey. It means they fucked. Oh, uh, why don't they just say fuck? Because we can't do that. It's just not right. It's not right to curse. Instead, you gotta dance dance around it by saying a different word instead. That we all know the meaning of. I don't know, man. I don't know, okay? We're, we're one penny shy here. Let's see if we can maybe get a black market or something here. I really doubt it, but I thought it was worth a shot. One penny shy of being able to make our uh, shop a guaranteed worthwhile choice for us, but I think it's very, very likely that it ends up working out. Don't. Oh, ho, ho, you almost got me there, you dirty shiz licker. Wait, what are you taking me away in insanity trials for? I said shiz. I didn't say shiz. He's licking shiz. What's shiz? It's a, I just made it up. No, it doesn't mean shit. Don't be ridiculous. If I meant shit, I would have said shit, officer. Am I, am I being detained? Anyway. You get the idea. I don't want to rail on obscenity laws, which as far as I know, don't even really exist anymore outside of, like, communications treaties and stuff like that. Bylaws and whatnot. I'm not saying you should be able to walk down the street and just say, Hey, little kid, go fuck yourself, right? I'm just saying, in TV, you know, you're choosing to watch it as an adult. You can, if, if somebody says something that's... Uh, did, did, wait a minute, did they just say fuck? I'm, well, you just, you don't have to write a letter, just don't watch the show anymore, it's all good. You know, it's the, that's uh, the, the market at work. If enough people are offended by four letter words, then they're not gonna watch it and then they'll stop doing it and you'll end up with, uh, you know, instead of Breaking Bad, it'll be called, uh, you know, Walt's Breakfast every morning. Welcome to Walt's Breakfast. I'm gonna give you three cents, and then I'm gonna decide what to do. Hey, okay. Now that we know we don't need to donate in the future, I think Black Candle is acceptable. It purges you of your curses. Is it good? Not in a traditional way. Is it bad? Maybe. Maybe it is. Uh, but I kinda like it just to ensure that we don't have to deal with any bullshit like Curse of, uh, Curse of the Blind with like a deal with the devil or something like that. So I didn't really talk about it, but we got a little haunt. Little haunt is... All right, as far as I'm concerned. It's, uh, I like it a little bit more than Leech. Not just because it inflicts fear, which can sometimes be useful or sometimes actually be bad, but um, I like it because uh, it doesn't F around with your HP balance, right? So you can, you can choose to just stay at a certain level of HP and it won't mess with it. Plus, it can actually fly, which is a nice little touch as well. Okay, 
We got... Oh, it's gonna be a crazy long fight. A la 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 long. A la 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 long la long long fight. Come on. I'm just gonna let Little Haunt do what Little Haunt do in there. He is not doing a great job of doing damage to the enemy target. I will just say that right away. And there's a lot... Hey, there we go. He's finally done something here. Gerd, I'm gonna make you sweat. Sweat till you can't sweat no more. And when you die, I'm gonna plunder your devil door. I still... I've gone on record as... Hey, you know, let the record show that I've uh, said that Inner Circle song... Push it a la 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 long. I believe that's in parentheses there after it's track one on Inner Circle's album that has Bad Boys on it as track four. I know because I owned it as a child. It might actually be track two. Anyway, um, I don't I don't support the message. Girl, I'm gonna make you sweat. Sweat till you can't sweat no more. And if you cry, I'm gonna push it some more. Times were different back in the early 90s, man. To be fair, he might just be a personal trainer with a particularly stubborn client. He's, you know, trying to, just like a, they're doing the boot camp stuff. Okay, thank God we have a, um, we have a deal with the devil. Now, it being Krampus kind of sucks the big one. And will not be an enormous boon for us, sadly. But no matter what we get here, we can't really complain. We also picked up Squeezy for a, a decent DPS upgrade. At least we, we're getting more tears. I wouldn't, it's not a huge damage Per second upgrade but it's something and um, the spirit hearts should give us a better chance of getting a deal with the devil probably not on this floor but on floors in the future you know what game you've won we get Krampus's head now this is not looking like it's gonna be a very likely uh, deal with the devil or sign empty with the devil uh, boss rush run to be honest with you I don't want to fight the boss rush on this run anyway remember Krampus's head is a once every six rooms item now so we're probably only gonna be able to use it uh, on like one room on a floor and then boss rooms, at least until later. Whenever you have items with kind of like limited charges like this, I think it's best if you can get map and compass and have a little bit of oh, where did you turn because you hit that bullshit gap in the center? This is not good for me. I should uh, be taking less damage because it might be two floors before I can guarantee myself uh, another deal with the devil. We could get one on this floor, but it's not guaranteed. Bomb for a key is a good trade if we had bombs. Would love to play Judgment. That's okay. What's our uh, item room? So, Magnetic Tears. Don't say I never do anything for you people out there. Magnetic Tears plus no damage is typically a pretty easy recipe for getting your face stomped on. I don't really like that I made a poop there. Uh, but there's there's interesting kind of synergies, and I, I put my faith in the game somewhat to allow those synergies to happen. Okay, this is the straight up danger zone right here, yeah. Haunt, where'd you go? Look at you, that one little dingle man just hit me three times. Four times. There goes our red hearts. Oh, god damn it. Look at this horse hockey. This is the HHL right now, man. I am not pleased with my performance right now. I am I am very displeased with my performance. I should not have picked up this item. I regret many things in my life. But if nothing else, I I I show commitment to the the right of absurdity in the game. And we're going to make this happen, baby. We're going to win this run regardless by knife or feline persuasion. It will happen. Tears downgrade. Hey game, how about you go downgrade uh, your tears into, um, I don't have an end to this joke, but go fuck yourself. This is not good. We really, really need a deal with the devil or something like it here. Little Haunt, if you could stop being a little bitch and get over there and actually do some damage, that'd be great. It's amazing how quickly my demeanor has turned, but you must, uh, you must admit, I mean... A bit more of a dire position now, but I still I have faith in the run. I put my faith in the run. I whip my hair back and forth if I had it, and um, as a result of this, I, I anticipate good things will happen. You know, I was watching Oprah the other day, because this is a fictional story, and uh, she said the power of positive thinking, man. I didn't really listen to what she said after that, because I was, you know, too busy job searching, because I was at home on, you know, 1 p.m. watching Oprah. Who puts a TV show on at 1 p.m.? Lady, I'm at work. That's obviously not true. Again, fictional story here. 
Well, I'm sure glad we saved that for the, the husk. Otherwise, what would we have done? We gotta do some more exploration here, sadly. I mean, the tiers plus shot speed upgrade is fine, but it's not really what we were looking for to, to carry us through. Well, you know, I mean, there's some rooms left over here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a move on. A boss rush might actually be ideal for us now because we could pick up an item that would maybe synergize nicely. But again, I put my faith in the game, power, positive thinking, I made a vision board, and on that vision board, there's just one big eye. It's Polyphemus, man. If we can get big eye, we'll be good. Why do these guys move so quickly when they're moving away from the tier? That doesn't make any sense, Edmund. It's all bullshit. I don't see any tinted rocks. I, as always, let me preface that by saying, or suffice that by saying, I could be mistaken. Often am. Just one of you, huh? Our deal with the devil chances are not nil, but low. But all my friends have low chances. The low chances make you do low dances. Boo -doo 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 -doo. We got low chances. That's the police coming to uh, arrest me. I've been reported by a, a commenter for uh, taking Strange Attractor. This is what I really, I think it was two runs ago that I wanted Strange Attractor, but uh, no, it was last run. I wish we could have gotten it. Oh, well, it's okay. Ooh, bomb for a spirit heart, the dang the dang dicky seems pretty good, but we'll try to remember that this exists, which is a bad recipe for me. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll pick it up when we leave this floor on the off chance we can actually make it happen on the next floor. Good luck. You'll need it. One key, thank you. The black hearts, they exist, I appreciate it. It's arguable whether or not that was worth a Krampus' head charge. Excuse me. Thank you. And by arguable, I mean it probably wasn't. Oh, don't lose a full black heart. Oh, it was only a half a black heart. Still. Bad you think I need bad gas? I got mysterious chocolate game. This is not a good situation. But we do only need a couple of items to pull us out of it. Should this happen? Oh, the the sound and the fury of which I will set upon the game for the indignities of which it has afflicted me here. And you will know my name is the Gord. Wait a minute, something's not right about that quote. Sure. Trickle charge. Uh, all items like this now make Krampus's head substantially more, or are, are more viable thanks to Krampus's head's nerf. That was a little scary there. We do still have a deal with the devil chance. Trickle charge, if you're not familiar, makes it so that there is a uh, one lower charge for whatever your active item is. I'm very disappointed that we did not pick up what we needed to pick up there. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go big room here. Oh, <laughs> I blocked myself in. Uh, we're gonna go big room here, and we gotta get to the item room. So this is just you know a no-brainer. It's unfortunate that we... Oh, in a way, it's unfortunate that we picked up Cuba meat. Please don't all explode into bonies. So far, so bad. Because um, my thinking is, if I can actually get them close, then Cuba meat might actually be our most potent form of attacking. Which is kind of sad. What causes these guys to determine what they explode into? Is it like the way they're killed or something? You're not all dead? Oh, one freaking bony rides away up here. Tarot card. Please be good. That's 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 not good enough. Or is it ah, oh, the bad trip hill is probably more important, but we're probably uh, okay, we're going to take the fool card because it could allow us to scam our way out of the uh, deal with the devil or the the boss rush room. We don't need to scam our way out of a deal with the devil. Just just allow me to get a deal with the devil. That's scam enough for me. Oh, the spirit hearts are real. Thank you. I can't stand it. I know you planned it. I'm gonna set it straight, this water gate. Don't go that far. Okay, infamy's fine. We're probably not gonna get a boss rush room, but on the off chance we choose right and we find the boss room, I wanna have a crack at it, baby. 
Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. You know what I'm talking about. Thank you, Infamy. We're doing crazy damage. Oh my god, I can't believe that these guys have the the dignity and the, the, the huevos to stand up next to me here. Ooh, is that triple shot? Okay. Triple shot maybe protects us very slightly from the effects of the magnet. The dark magnet. I... I don't know, man. I don't know about this one. We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna have, like, one... Oh, you dirty dog. That was almost bad there. Uh, we're gonna have, like, one minute to get to our boss room. And I've slowed myself down just a little bit, but it could be enough. I don't love our chances of it, but we could choose properly and get extremely lucky. And even if we don't, hey... We got a fool card, right? That's worth nothing. So we're gonna gamble on small rooms because it's the only way out of our predicament here. We gotta take the pill with us though, dog. Or the card. Oh my god. Oh good, yeah. A health downgrade. Synergizes really nicely with those bad trip pills we've been rolling in all fucking game. This is not looking great. Uh, so Krampus's head here. We didn't kill that last Gertie. Come on, come on, you gotta die. You gotta go, Gertie. I'm sorry. Gurgling, whatever. It don't, it don't matter. I know there's a consumable back there. We're gonna go for it. Go for the mouthful. Go for the fun. Go for cakes for it. Okay, well, yeah, we gotta try. It could make us a lot faster. Yeah, common cold's good enough. Ah, oh, it's a shop. This isn't where I wanna be. I think we have to let the dream die, guys. The boss rush room is not gonna happen. But you can see, if I had chosen properly, we could have made it. Man, two keys for like eight bombs is a pretty sweet deal if we can get there. We're still kinda screwed on this run, but we're, we're getting progressively less screwed, I think. Yeah, if we don't get into that boss fight with like 1930, it's not happening. I don't think it's happening. It's not happening. I stepped on the creep. I feel like a really smart individual right now. The one kind of... Where did you go there? Come on. He took like a little trip over the rocks there. Um, the one great thing is we have not actually taken... There it goes. We have not actually taken red hard damage. We're not in the red light district. Ludacris's second album. Alright, so we, th we're now proving that this run is not gonna go boss rush because we're going to our demon judgment. Missing page two is not good enough. We got so close, because mom's not gonna die in one hit, but she's gonna be pretty dang close after that. Thank you for that. And we're just gonna be a few seconds behind. That is, that is unfortunate. Yeah, probably about 20 seconds behind. And we did, we went to every room that we wanted to go to except for our shop, but we didn't have the money anyway, yet. Hard to be, Hard to be too mad about this, because we did get triple shot common cold, which is, it's a start, right? Man, it is, it is not so easy to damage mom in this situation. I'm doing so little damage. But our deal with the devil dream should still be alive. Thanks to some incredible drops. We need to start doing more damage, because these enemies get sucked towards us with every hit. Just start poisoning the bodily segments. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's so close. Okay, we got an angel room. This is really bad unless it's Sacred Heart. Even Holy Mantle is going to be annoying. Oh, and you give me two, you give me a fucking HP upgrade, you bitch. <sighs> oh, Tinted Rock. Oh, can't even blow it up. Going to be one of those days. All righty. Utero one. Well, this should mean that we have pretty much a 100% chance to deal with the devil on this floor. If we can avoid taking red hard damage. Our health is going to go only half as far. Whoa, thank you Cuba Meat for some serious bonus damage there. Every room is going to be that long. Prepare yourselves. Uh, was that like a health downgrade? What is it like, you know? Yeah, it's a health downgrade. I, I was going to make some kind of joke, but it didn't seem appropriate at the time. What could be worse than a health downgrade at this point? I mean, a health downgrade is not necessarily terrible. 
it is terrible for us in our current situation. Look, you know what? Why don't you just charge me one HP on the way into the room? That would save us both a little bit of time here. Can't even get like a diagonal. Oh, I can get a little bit of a diagonal on that. I can't believe we actually did as well as we did there. Keep the spirit hearts alive, because this deal with a D or A is pretty much your only chance of survival. Notice how my... Ooh, lucky me. My pronoun changes to your as we start talking about death. Whereas when we talk about success, oh my god, my run is incredible. We gotta be super slow here. Because all these enemies get teleported directly to us. Whoa, this is, a, this is an interesting room. Uh, I would rather fight greed in every room than almost any other room. So, I really don't think that Krampus' head is an appropriate use here. Because this, this room should be pretty easy. I mean, I'm just hanging out on the other side of the map here. Ain't nobody dope as me. I'm scumming the shit out of greed. Four keys is uh, it's a very important number. Ah, this is good. This is our deal with the devil slash angel chance right here. Don't let me down, please. I'll I'll refrain from singing the Beatles track because let's be honest, I can't hit any of those notes. Double low key is dead. No deal. That's disappointing. Let's just <laughs> I had a little Steve Brulism popped in there. That's disappointing. Uh, but that's okay. Guppy's Collar is an item, in case you didn't know. Uh, it has some significance. We're not going to use anything else, or we're not going to use the Fool card for anything else. Really, really wish we still had that bad trip pill, because full health is pretty nice in this situation. Okay, you got you to gotta F off, dog. I can't move. There's no words on it. I hate you. I hate you, Wrath. Four bombs. Three bombs. Okay, well, our our outcome here, or the way that we achieve our desired outcome, is very simple. You know what's uh, even easier than fighting gurglings normally? Fighting gurglings uh, when you teleport them directly to you at all times. Um, the way we win is we just... Uh, that's another health downgrade. How kind of you. Um, basically, we just survive until the chest. And I know I say this... Every time I'm like, here's a novel strategy. Survive to the chest to get carried. Survive to the chest to get carried. Sincerely, though, that's how we take this run out of the, the doghouse and into the red light district. Um, still one alive, huh? Okay, not so bad. Um, that, that's how we do it. Don't see any tinted rocks, like, offhand here. wonder if I can... Bet I can suck those uh, pills out of here. Here they come. Speed up. Range up. Pretty much just picked up growth hormones, right? Did you see the pinball Clemens bullshit happening there? It's a little CFL reference for those Canadian viewers out there who watch Canadian football, both of you. Not trying to insult the CFL. Just saying. Not the most popular sport. Very impressive athleticism. You know, I wouldn't want to get tackled by them. Chad Ochocinco played there this year. There's our boss fight. I, I know we could do two bombs for three bombs. I just, I don't care enough to do it. Which seems like, you know, I'm being lazy. Compared to me, Jay-Z is lazy. But, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not being lazy about it. Uh, save your energy for things that are more meaningful is my philosophy on that bad boy. Why are we why are we using bombs? Cuz we're just going to have to tank. I well not tank, but we're going to have to beat Isaac through sheer force of will. Like our bombs are not going to make that much difference. It's going to be very difficult to find ourselves in a position where we're able to use them. Like Krampus's head is going to be a very nice little bonus for that Isaac fight, and if we get a 48-hour energy or something, that would carry us pretty nicely. If we don't though, we're on our own. This is lovely. I'm, I'm having a great time here. Okay. You will... You'll fire some brimstone shots. It's still gonna take forever for us to actually, uh, kill you.
Oh, I dodged a little too far. And then I didn't dodge far enough. I think this run is going down, down, baby. But there is always a chance. A curse room appears. Two guppy items. Oh, you don't say. Thank you. I don't know if I can feel great about Guppy winning two runs in a row. Just kidding. I know it would feel awesome because we'd win. And it's not like we were cheating or anything. We just we played the game the way it's meant to be played. Mm. Well, now, <laughs> going to the curse room is a little bit of a risk now because we would die. Oh, missing page too. Thank you. Oh, if we went in there, it would... Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a tricky situation. Now that we don't want red, or now that we want red hearts, they don't show up. That's just the the way that the cookie crumbles. The way the cookie crumbles. A Hitchcock mystery tonight on TMC. Really? Really, game? You're gonna give me super greed. It's actually better than some rooms we could face. I was just the the reason I'm mad is not because it's a hard enemy, but because it should have been a better room. But Northern Lion, you could get the quarter here. Where am I gonna spend my money, motherfucker? Heaven? I don't think so. I'm not trying to insinuate that there is or isn't an afterlife, and I believe in it either way. I'm just saying. You know, there's not a whole lot of shops where this run's taking me right now. It's okay. Goose Fraba, calm down. I know I could leave. I almost feel like what I'm fighting for now Ooh. what am I fighting for <laughs> I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light no I'm, I'm fighting for an extra charge on Krampus's head this could kill me let's be honest you know that might be okay it might be my time yeah can't even stay away Oh, it's a bad run, but we tried. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.